And oddly enough, yeah, because uh, Harsim is blocking his natural, he put it down right away at his third expansion. And now he's just gonna save up another 300 minerals, and we're gonna see that expansion coming down at the natural right away. And what is Harsim doing, man? Still no Nexus, so... Maybe Harsim? Is he playing some kind of mind game with Red? Is he making it look like he's going for a fast Nexus? But as did, does he have some aggression planned? We have uh, we have a photon cannon being added now. We have two gateways though, so we're gonna see at least some aggression from Harsim early on. And I think this is a very smart choice from Harsim. He definitely saw that at first game that there was no use going up into a straight game, into a macro game against Liquid Red. So uh, I think this is a good decision from Harsim, trying to put out some early aggression. And still no nexus from Harsim. Two bases getting up for Red. Red getting the scout in with his overlord, but what exactly is he gonna see? Well, he's gonna see soon enough that there's no nexus, and then he's gonna know something's up. And we have a, quite a few zealots being produced, so that's exactly what Harsim is planning. Putting out some early aggression on one of these bases, maybe the natural expansion, maybe the second expansion. But some aggression, some zealot aggression, is definitely coming up here for uh, Harsim. And now Red is seeing that there's still no Nexus 5 minutes into the game and he knows that the aggression is coming and he has time enough actually to prepare for it. So we'll see if this little early aggression from Harstam works or does Harstam already scouted out, knows, hey it's better that I not continue with this aggression, Liquid Red knows about it, this overlord has seen everything. Maybe it's a good thing just to, uh, yeah, not attack. And you can see the doubt in Harsom. Does he pull out? Does he move out or not? And it seems he's gonna move out with a few zealots. But uh, Liquid Red scouted it with his overlord, guys. So he knows what's coming. And uh, I don't think this is gonna do quite that much damage. But we'll see, we'll see. Four zealots now making their way over to the base of liquid red but as you can see in the production tab four roaches already being produced and those are gonna be the welcoming committee for liquid red interesting though again harsome in the meantime building or making a stargate where's that stargate it's right here and now those first zealots those first first zealots making their way to the natural and actually actually there's not much defense here but those roaches should be popping out right away and harsh them not taking any chances as soon as he saw that roach he's backing up now i'm gonna try and take that roach liquid red a bit slow there with his reaction second roach coming in three more roaches coming in this is gg <laughs> well not gg but gg for this this little uh, zealot attack those zealots are gonna have to run their little legs off and uh, hightail it out back to their base and that's exactly what they're doing if you if you watch their little legs they uh, they can run quite fast and that's even without a charge upgrade so run back home boys run back to mama because uh, you got some roaches on your back in the meantime same thing as we saw with the first in the first game uh, Harstam getting out some phoenixes and now those roaches are they gonna try and push through we have a sentry here though we have those phoenix and they will be able to lift up some roaches we still have that cannon I don't think liquid threat is gonna be able to do much killing off that zealot though one roach getting picked up now but uh, liquid threat continuing this little harass a little bit too much units from Harstam here though but uh, yeah liquid threat not taking any damage so why not continue this little harass in the meantime droning like a boss now very nice force field trapping two more roaches and this should be the end of this little roach attack or is he or is liquid red just gonna forfeit these roaches could be he's still working on this pylon desperately wants to kill this pylon but it's not gonna happen and like i said guys in the meantime liquid red droning up like a boss and getting some spore crawlers in his second expansion natural expansion already a spore crawler main base and yep also a spore crawler more than enough one spore crawler at this time for those phoenix and harsh the man what are you gonna do what are you gonna do you try to do something with some zealots uh it seems like a good idea for you to take your third base and that's exactly what he's doing he's working on the destructible rocks 
he's working on the destructible debris and he's saving up money and now already got the money for the second expansion and it seems ladies and gentlemen we're watching a rematch of the first game between these two players with liquid red getting a very firm uh, economic lead I'm just gonna uh, look at the worker count 70 over 70 workers for red so his income is gigantic and uh, now adding in some zerglings and uh, yeah it looks like we're watching the exact same thing as in the first game in the meantime Harstam doing the same thing as in the first game getting out that immortal soon we're gonna see some colossus and uh, seeing as how that didn't really work out for him in the first game I wonder how it will now and now a Zergling not really run by but Zergling harass at the third expansion and maybe Harsom is gonna be forced to cancel it no he's gonna get those Zerglings in some force fields going out and those Zerglings being cleaned up little mistake there from Red nice force fielding from Harsom uh, good thing to have some sentries with you and now uh, of course Harsom gonna put down some photon cannons make sure that uh, Liquid Red can't do anything like that again Liquid Red in the meantime working on the upgrades I think uh, plus one melee attack already finished and oh man this is so painful those Phoenix just getting grabbed by these infestors spawning out and interesting though uh, Liquid Red going for mutalisks now 10 mutalisks in production so uh, maybe we're not gonna see exactly the same thing as in the first game also working on plus one fire attack so uh, liquid red man working on the mutilus count now so we're gonna see some good old-fashioned uh, infester mutilus and it's been quite a while since I've seen that in the meantime the zerglings yeah plus one weapon damage on the zerglings and are yep five more uh, mutilisks in production and this could really catch Harstam off guard because he thinks of course uh, he's gonna see some roaches soon at the second expansions but no way man it's gonna be a flock of mutilisks do you even call that a flock you know, a flock of birds, well, I suppose a flock of mutalisks works as well. And Red producing more and more mutalisks, four more on the way. And they're making their way into the main base of Harstam. And there's absolutely nothing here to defend. And this is gonna hurt so much for Harstam. This is like bringing a hammer down right on your forehead. A lot of drones dying to this mutalisk attack. And Harstam is completely caught off guard. Pushing all his drones back, now the stalkers come in to defend, but Liquid Redman, he's gonna do so much damage with those mutalisks, and this is a brilliant, brilliant tactic from Red. It seems, ladies and gentlemen, that Liquid Red is on top of this game today. In the qualifiers, he wasn't performing quite as I expected, but today, ladies and gentlemen, on Championship Sunday, Liquid Red knows exactly, exactly where the... Uh, yeah, where the faults in his enemy's defense lies and he's already up at 90 drones again and look at this, this mutilic, uh, mutilisk attack, Harsom just doesn't have a defense against it, uh, those colossus aren't gonna do anything, his stalker count isn't far as high enough as it should be to stop this and in the meantime red producing more and more mutilisks but like I said ladies and gentlemen he's already back at 90 drones so Jesus Christ man the macro from red out of control playing macroing like a boss here today and uh, Harston man what are you gonna do what are you gonna be able to do liquid red now taking out the twilight council some phoenix trying to get in and do some harass against those mutilisks but those mutilisks with that big number supported by these investors these phoenixes are gonna go down very fast nice fungal there catching two of those phoenix the mutilisks making short work of the remaining phoenix Phoenix being annoying though, but there's so many mutilics, there's really nothing, nothing Harsom can do, and more and more pros will go down here, just gonna take a quick look, how many workers has Red killed, 27 probes already killed, now taking out this cannon, and Harsom knows it man, this is GG, this was a fast end of the first game in this first round, Liquid Red winning 2-0 against Harsom. And ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned, we're gonna go into 
the second round of this tournament in just a second. Ladies and gentlemen, the second game of this afternoon is gonna start right away and is gonna be quite a treat again, once again. So uh, just stay tuned guys, we're gonna start the game, the second game, and you're gonna see between exactly which players it's gonna be. But uh, hang on there because it's gonna be impressive. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Dutch and National Championship. The National Championship for both the Netherlands and Belgium. We're trying, these games are being played um, 
simultaneously so we're trying to pick the best games for you guys to stream and watch and ladies and gentlemen we're gonna have another game from the first round between none other than grubby and his opponent will be no lot so ladies and gentlemen we're gonna jump right into the loading screen and get ready for some pvp action ladies and gentlemen between none other spawning in the north position as the green pro 